everyone on the powdered cheesecake. I love it. I love the support for powdered cheese. Right? Normally you hear people just say shit about it, and I'm just like, no. Don't talk shit about powdered cheese! God damn right. <laughs> Bloodworth in chat, I think, is making fun of how I, I stumbled on a word. Bitch, I'm drinking. You're lucky I got even close. Yeah, shark cootery. Shark coochie. Yeah, shark coochie bird. <laughs> Yeah, you take your flying death machine over the ocean. It's completely safe. Are you licensed to drive that thing, or did you just find it somewhere and you're like, this is mine now? Wish I could find something like that to fly around. That'd be fucking awesome. I'd also probably annoy the shit out of people that I really want to see that live far away. Oh my god, if you landed in a Zeppelin in my backyard, I would die happy. Damn it, now I really want a Zeppelin. <laughs> I just like things ain't got nothing to do. Just hop in it. Be back later. I got people to go see. Right. BRB Zeppelin time. Yep. Just where are you headed? Places. Double Ocho. ESPN Ocho Eight. No, Maya down. Oh he shit! Life, well, it should be fine. It was level something. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at our fantastic tracker, Chani's notes, and confirm if I'm right or not. I know I saw life somewhere. Ah, life is level six. So they may have it. I don't know. That fighter's still down. So maybe they don't have it. A couple people have mentioned how creepy the, um, the new eggs are for Caleb's party. And, like, what I want is them to have, like, those really wide eyes, like the death eyes. I think that'd be even better. Yeah, I gotta say, the white mage sprite of the eggs is my least favorite egg. Like, the red mage and black mage have really cute hats. When they class change, they're super cute. These white mages. No, no. And yeah, they're not super cute. They are not super cute. <laughs> They're going through some shit. <laughs> they, they, seem to be. they definitely seem to be. Excalibur. Alright, that was on Caleb's side, right? Or was that on Asher? Yeah, I think that was on Caleb's side. It's Caleb's side. Unfortunately, okay. I'm not trying to be biased, but like I tend to watch Caleb's side more. I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, the, but no, the reason I ask is, like, now at least he has a sword that he didn't have before, so... These are my favorite. I love surprise punches in the face. I mean, I love dealing them out. Have you ever seen that SNL skit where it's like, what's it, uh, was it Will, um... Not Forte, was it? I don't remember, but the skit is like he goes around punching people in the face like unexpectedly, and it cracks me up every time. Cause yeah, that's comedy related. That fits the theme. The font is kind of funky on Asher's screen, and I thought he had something named Oh Hi. Like, oh, hi, Mark. Like, okay. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> Not too long ago. Maybe, oh, it was almost, I think, maybe two weeks ago. Fizzle and I did comms on a race, and my dog, who is usually very quiet, heard a four-wheeler outside and decided while I was in the middle of doing comms to bark very loudly quite a few times. To which chat was, chat was all like, oh, it's a dog, and he's awesome. And they were all excited about the dog, and I'd be lying if I said every time I do comps now, I feel like I'm letting chat down just a little bit because my dog's not barking and saying hi in the background. Maybe you should teach it on command. I mean, I could probably try, but like half the time he's just sleeping, 
And like, I just yell, I like, I say his name, and even if he bothers to look at me, it's one of those, do you fucking mind I'm taking a nap kind of looks. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> I'm very familiar. And I mean, I get it, I can't be mad at it. I don't like, I said, don't nap often, but when I do take a nap, it, they're kind of nice, and I don't like being woke up either. Yeah, don't mess with nap time, guys. This is serious business. Damn straight it is. But yeah, about the only time he ever barks is if, like, somebody drives by the house in, like, a four-wheeler or a really loud truck because he doesn't like either. Or if someone knocks on the door. And I don't see e either one of those happening this late, so. Oh, man. I have a plan of action, but I can't bring it to fruition just yet. But it's going to happen. Hooray, Asher. we're running around. <laughs> Asher, I'm going with the three men. Going to the volcano. We're still looking for... We're still looking for a rod. Um... So we keep it... Yes. I'm still looking for a rod. Yeah. It's always nice when you find one. <laughs> I like it when you, you like, you're so close to getting to a chest and then there's, like, um, an encounter. And you're like, damn it! I almost got to it! Right, it's like, not yet, fucker. Yeah. Like, oh, we got you! Uh-huh. Taking on Ifrit. And we got ourselves a ribbon, which we have not seen yet, so that's the first piece. I learned from someone's stream last night or the night before that all of the ribbons are specs the same. They're not individual. So, like, if it's negative two on this one, it'll be negative two on all of them. Yep. That is true. But those ribbons, even if they are negative, like, still protect from all the things they would protect from, regardless if it was plus, minus. So they're really, really good to have, and you're, you're glad to find them. That way you can at least put one on your life caster, who has a better chance now of surviving a bunch of different spells. So finding at least one is going to make you feel much better about your run. And then, unless I missed it, I'm pretty sure that was the first one we've seen. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Although, I mean, like... Gonna be honest, guys, I haven't been diligent about tracking things. You know, like, sorry. I mean, I, I kind of try to be a little bit, but I'm not really either. But it's fine. Aw. Uh, Link is also looking for a rod in a chest. Aw. Like soulmates, twinsies. Mm hmm. It's a rod in a box. Nice. <sighs> plebe or pleb? Is it pleb or plebe? I need to know. Okay, type A for plebe and B for pleb. Blink twice for plebe. <laughs> I think Caleb's got the defense stuff on. Okay, it's pleb. Okay, it's B, it's pleb. Okay. He said, I got it right now. Wait, 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 wait. I said both. But no, pleb. Got it. Yeah, usually we make people come in the booth and, and pronounce their names for us. But, you know, it's fine. How does Gunthree know? Are you guys buddies IRL? Am I being left out? I don't like this. I've got hardcore FOMO. Dem Zeron's scared he won't come back in the booth. Aww. You Dem Zeron. Dem Zeron, what have you been drinking, my tipsy buddy? I'm with Dusk on this one, it's plebby. I'm not gonna lie. I was not only happy that he seemed to be perfectly fine with me changing his Discord name to that the, uh, that one night, 
But the fact that we are multiple weeks later and his name is still Dimzu Ron Frizzog in the Discord puts a smile on my face every time I see it. It's amazing. I'm here. I like, I ship it so hard. Faleb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Got it, Gumfrey. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. Little said that they're not friends. So wait, um, Demzeron, when you say you had summer summer lemonades, are you talking like Rattlers? Or are you talking like um Mike's hard lemonade? Or well, you he said about... earlier it was honey whiskey with lemonade. Is that oh. just what you mean by that? Yeah. I've never had honey whiskey. But I, I have... love lemonade and I would be fucking down for trying that. Danny, when we're riding around in our Zeppelin, we can mm -hmm. make drinks together. <gasps> yes. This is amazing. There's no I, I'm now worried that we shouldn't be flying it. Okay, uh, well, that's not the best, best idea. I got the best idea ever. <laughs> this one doesn't drink. <gasps> he can fly the Zeppelin. Yes! We'll use him, just like every other man. I'm just kidding, Fizzle. Fizzle knows better. We love Fizzle. He's the bestest. Like, I mean, the if, bestest. If his streams of driving 18-wheelers is any indication of his skill set, he's gonna be perfect at flying an airship. Uh-huh. I have no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> And if we go down, fuck it, whatever. At least we having fun. Yeah. And we'll be wasted and won't know. Fizzle will know because he'll be sober AF, but we won't know. Maybe that's when we get him to drink. Uh, like, quick, Fizzle, do shots with us. Where's Asher? Asher is... In a place I will tell you in a minute when he's not in combat. It's teal. Um, do 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 waterfall, I think. Oh, thanks, Club. Oh, check and burn it. Yep, waterfall. Monster box, monster box. Hey, you burn. Um. So the boys are talking about getting a game going. About Guns of Icarus? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. And also, why wasn't I invited? We just I talked think... about my FOMO fizzle! Like, I feel a little left out. I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I would Did so get in your glimpse? Oh, and now I'm real sad. I got left out. I want to play Game of Blimps. Right? We would be the best gunners ever! Fuck yeah, we would. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I got weird hands and they're not good at playing a lot of games. But I would try and figure it out. Better than... than anyone, really. Ooh, we got a- we got a rod? Appreciate Classic Gamer, like, paying attention to the actual game. Yep, I think it was there in Waterfall, cause Caleb went he full cleared all of Sky and got a power bong for his trouble. Ooh, that means Asher's in go mode. Asher has everything he needs to beat the game. So he should go beat it then. Looks like it's what he's doing. He just has to light his light. He needs to do C and B Kraken. And then go do... He needs to go take out Tia. And then Lich. And then he can do Topher. Caleb needs to make it through Sky here. Take out Tia, go to Waterfall, get his rod, and then do the rest of the dungeons, which I'm gonna assume he's probably gonna do Waterfall before doing C. And then, like, he'll be fine. But this definitely gives Asher a bit of an advantage. Fizzle asking the important questions about ramming speed. Fizzle. As long as you do it carefully. Yeah, I have some opinions on ramming speed, and it mostly has to do with the size of the, um, airship. Uh-huh. So... <laughs> that, that definitely factors in, like, 
how fast <laughs> and forceful and just how you ram things. I'm just saying. Ooh, ooh. Um, Pleb bringing up a good question. Did they do a force war mech? I don't think they did. No. I was about to say, because if they did, I didn't know. They didn't tell me, and I didn't put it in the flags. But it wasn't mentioned, so no force work. Yeah. That was on, um... Who did he... Who did Caleb battle where it was forced war mech? I don't remember. I think Life reboot or... Or... Solario. Oh, no, I think it was Solario. That sounds maybe right, because I don't think it was Life Reboot. I know it wasn't Corito. Yeah, it wasn't for you. I think it was Solario. Goonkiri is just playing with us now. You can't just mention lubrication like that, okay? You just can't throw it out like that. It's not fair. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of noise going on right now, I'm not gonna lie. Very pretty Kraken. Got thrown away. Well, by Caleb. Uh, there was one ribbon. I think Asher got one ribbon. Okay, so, I've just been informed that I may have accidentally muted myself. Oh my god, Danny, I was waiting for you. I'm but so I sorry! <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't on very long, because I was- because apparently I was talking to myself, too. I mentioned something about Asher talking to himself. <laughs> and apparently I was doing the same thing. But sure. no, to answer chat like I- I did and nobody heard me, uh, we had one ribbon found, and it was in the armory. Asher has it. 
And Caleb got his rod, right? I just saw yeah. that a little bit ago. Yeah, it was in Waterfall. Oh, right. That's right. That's the thing he was missing. Okay, Asher Asher knows that the, the power bonk is here in in Sky, and the fact that he's he's opening things means he's looking for it, and it was on three or four of Sky, so like if he opens all the boxes looking for it, he's gonna be here a while, which honestly gives Caleb a bit of time if Caleb doesn't open any boxes here in C. Caleb big on just like opening a ton of boxes from what I've seen. We'll see. Maybe he's changing his strategies. Alright, Caleb. So what are we going to do here and see? Are we opening boxes? Or are we just going to go look? Because like, to catch it, like, I don't know. The thing is, like, even if he opens boxes here, like, and he does crack inside first, which I'm gonna guess he's gonna do, he probably will get through a little faster than Asher opening all these boxes. I don't know, I, I see them headed to, to Topher, like, really close together. I've called, I've called, every race I've called this week has been really, really close. Damn it, why do they keep doing this to me? That stress is just so tasty, though, Dane. It's oh. like you gotta, have the, you gotta have the stress. Maybe if I just get all my stress and anxiety out tonight, like I won't have any going into my own race tomorrow. Yeah. I know that's a lie, and I'm gonna have lots of it. But wishful thinking, right? <laughs> yeah, Chad asking if they're both using the Whirlpool. Nope. Caleb chucked his and Elflin for money about five minutes into the game. Yeah. He was he was not ready for it. He just he didn't need it. He got rid of it. He's a man of action and quick decision. <laughs> Alright, Kalo, I'm gonna check these boxes here because they're really easy, free, like they're on your way. But are we checking anything else? Oh. Okay, we're checking these boxes. He does this room backwards compared to everybody else, though, so I don't know if this is, like, indicative of him just checking all the boxes on this floor, or if he's just checking these because they are on the way. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta feel like Caleb is wondering with the time, you know, how Asher's doing. Yeah. Okay, he didn't check all the boxes in. He just checked the free boxes. He didn't even check the one past the thing, so... So, yeah, he... He is, he is hauling ass. Hell yeah. Um, Apollo Ping Pong asking, when is tomorrow's race? You're gonna have to be a little more specific because we've got five or six races tomorrow. Oh, but if you tell me which one, I will gladly tell you. Danny knows everything. It's very impressive. While we do that, um, Danny, um... What do you call an argument between two electric companies? A power struggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm so done with tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Asher. On the third floor, I think. Oh, wait, Demzeron has just brought to light a very curious thing. Danny, you're not, um, you're not having your, your race, uh, restream? I, I have put mine down for no restream every race I've had. And then somebody has done, like, a Vicky broadcast of it, which is, like, our pirate restreams that aren't, like, a big restream with comms and all these things which have actually turned out kind of fun somebody will restream it on their channel and then comms has just been everybody in a voice chat talking about the race which has been hilarious for me to watch back um but yeah i i put down no restream on all my races and yet they've been restreamed in some sort of fashion between dengwu and caleb so chances are that's probably what'll happen tomorrow but yeah 
at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm getting knocked out of brackets by Luffy. Oh, you are not. Positive I, thing. Listen. Yeah. I totally am. And it's okay, because one, I didn't think I was going to make it this far. And Luffy's a buddy, so if I'm going to lose, I'm at least glad that I'll be losing to someone who is a friend, and I'm excited to see go further in bracket. I mean, you're very sweet for saying that, but I'm still rooting for you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. And whoever no, I'm, go I'm oh, going into tomorrow's it. race just having fun. I'm going to have my, my music playing very loudly. <laughs> I I will probably be yelling and cussing at a lot of things while my music's playing. And it's fine. Good. Rave, I'm getting yelled at in chat. I know. They're chastised. Sorry, I'm sorry, Fizzle. Well, I, I, I feel that maybe that's a personal flaw. He has always had way more confidence in me than I have in myself. <laughs> it's good to be confident. But it's, it's, it's fine, Fizzle. It's like your only flaw. So it's okay. Yeah, you gotta take the um, childlike empress at her word in the never-ending story when she's told Bastion to be confident. You gotta be confident, she said. So, that's what you gotta do. You gotta be confident. Best I can promise is I'll try. But, yeah. <laughs> hey, Danny, what do you call blueberries playing the guitar together? The Blues Brothers? A jam session. Oh, see, your answer is way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is the worst, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I totally want to watch your race wherever it is. I might I might be building a bed, but I'll do my best. Yeah. If nothing else, there'll be a link to like the multi-stream on uh race time where it'll have like the two streams up together so you'll be able to watch like both of us race at the same time it's a handy dandy little feature I have to learn me that because i don't know what you're talking about um when they do their race announcement tomorrow there will be a link at the very least if nobody restreams it for the um the race time where we do our race rooms that is a Funny looking more mech, and oh, it is kicking Asher's ass. Um, and that link will be to wherever you can watch the race. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I felt a little bad a few weeks ago. Dang, we was restreaming a race, and he kept like going to my channel and trying to get my 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 reactions to things because I I may say a lot of a lot of bad words to things when they're not going well <laughs> to the point where jat has made it a verb and he calls it dannying which is where you screw where you curse uncontrollably while on stream while you play ffr um, <laughs> but i felt kind of bad because every time he like he he went to like my my audio it was just me listening to like music but it's good music so i mean there's that Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with getting into the groove. Fuck yeah. Alright, so Caleb on the way to Lady's third orb. Asher on the way to right his third orb. He wiped those so like all that time. Unfortunately, he spent opening boxes to find that power bonk. Essentially kind of wasted just because like now he has to go back through. Good news is, like, he knows where the power bonk is. He can go straight to the box room, pick it up, and then, like, he's gonna go straight back to Tia. There we go. It's Caleb. Oh, God, though. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. 
three down, one to go. Hey, Rafe! Oh no, did you leave? No? Huh? Can you hear me? Oh, it was weird and I didn't hear you and I was like, oh no! Do you need me to, do did you, you me accidentally to... mute? No, should I, should I be closer to the mic? Is this too close to the mic? I mean, I'm alright with it. <laughs> Welcome to the Danny and Kay's After Hour Special. I am so not mad at that. Um, <laughs> but no, I thought of one. Okay, so, like I was saying, hey, Ray. Huh? What does the sign on the out of business brothel say? Out of office brothel? Business. Did I say office? Jesus Christ. I should stop drinking. <laughs> I can't even tell a joke. <gasps> What what does it say? Beat it. We're closed. Oh. <laughs> yup. So completely unrelated to whatever the wait is the T Rex a good thing this time? It can be. It's a lot of experience if it falls over. It fell over. Good it job. Sure Oh, Caleb doing the armory check. I think that means he just found himself a ribbon. He's moving real fast. He's, go he's going real fast. He's like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> yeah, we both... Both runners about to light their fourth orb. Caleb already very close to to carry and he's in volcano and all these tiles he's stepping on he's not gonna get encounters like honestly you're not checking things hell even if you are checking things like volcano is probably it's like the fastest dungeon to get through and he's only making a, a small green checks here and there so yeah he's yeah. gonna light his fourth orb before asher does yeah barring a disaster of any kind light that fire caleb Come on, baby, light my fire. Time to set the night on fire. Oh my god, my neighbors probably hate me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. Yep, Caleb with his fourth orb. Looks like he's about to do some shopping first. Oh, it's 11 11 here. Make a wish. Although this is delayed for everyone. I'm making um, a Alright, fuck it. Whatever. I don't care. I'm making one anyways. Let me think. Done. Excellent. Good job. My, my wish comes true and I'm going to be like the happiest girl ever. Does it involve a Zeppelin? <laughs> a Zeppelin could be used in this in, in my dream scenario. It was not. However. <laughs> um... I sure just took down George again. Yep. Okay, so Caleb's going into Topher. He's gonna be in there at about like, the one hour, 30 minute, 20, five second mark. Asher, unless Asher does any type of shopping, things like that. If Asher leaves here and goes straight to Topher, he's about a minute, minute and a half behind, depending on how fast he gets to Earth. So, like, if Caleb sees some shit that bounces him out of here, then Asher will, Asher will be a, in a bit of the lead. Um, can someone explain in chat what Money Mercs just put as his emote? What What is that emoji? Is like, um, like knocking back a drink. Like, what is that? I mean, it kind of looks like he's knocking back a drink, but or like, coloring. Maybe is he that says like we're drinking. Oh, he's pro. Oh, whoops. Okay. okay, fair. Thanks, guys. 
That was gonna be my next guess. I'm gonna be honest, I was raised Catholic and we always bow our heads when we pray, so that was a little strange for me. I got it though, I'm back on track. Oh! I just learned that if I hover over something, I can read what the, um, what the text is for it. Neat. Hey, hey, Danny. <laughs> what do you call it when a cow spies on another cow? A stakeout. <laughs> 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 oh man. Oh god. You guys, I gotta use all of these. It's the Chaos Comedy Tour 2021. And this may be my last commentary if Caleb loses. <laughs> so we gotta get them all in. If you know what I mean. See, that, see, that would make me a little sad. I know. We can still talk without, th without this though. Really? We might have to like occasionally just hang out and get drunk. Or just hang out, or whatever. We still need to do, like, karaoke. We do. Some we'll sort of karaoke. Twitch, Twitch, that's right, you hear me, Twitch? You fucked us when you got rid of Twitch scenes. How dare you. Right. So, Goat's Pirate just suggested renaming the Vorpal to Kratoris. That's not what I read. It's not what I read at all. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna be completely honest, well, Goat. I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah, Gloom- Gloom knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice classic gamer. Carrie, Oki. We- we only sing songs when they're battling Carrie. What songs are we singing? I mean, there's a song literally called Carrie, but... Yeah. Why don't roosters wear underwear? I don't know, Apollo. Riddle, riddle me that. I don't know. Oh, okay, we're being asked by chat. Yeah. I love this interaction, guys. I really do. Apollo, tell us! Yeah. We're at a loss. Oh, we're supposed to be singing right now. It's karaoke time. What do you want to sing? I don't know. We didn't plan anything. Oh, should we take requests from chat? Uh, I guess if we know the song, it would be okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Bohemian Rhapsody? From Are the beginning. Trying... <laughs> I feel like I would butcher Queen, and that might make me a little sad. If you want to do uh, Somebody to Love, that's a fantastic Queen song. I can rock that, that one out. Is... Because they keep their cocks out. <laughs> I like my first thought with it was maybe like something to do with like Cox, but that I just never got there for an answer. Mm -hmm. I like weirdo boxes to do rounds of row, row, row your boat. Cute. Mm -hmm. That one I know and could probably remember, even though. And Gloom wants to do boat. What is that? What's that band name? Oh. Meet the roof, the roof, the roof, roof the is, roof on, is fire. on fire. We don't need no <laughs> water. Let the motherfucker burn. The bloodhound. Uh oh, fat bomb girls. That's a good song. Mhm. Mm Damn right, Stu. Hell yeah, I'm in that boat. Hey, did you guys know that there's a there's a battle going on right now with Kraken? There seems to be. <laughs> hey, not anymore. Good job, Caleb. Through Kraken 2. Now we just gotta get through Tia 2. And Chaos. I mean, like, you know, ain't no thing. Be fine. But chicken wing. <laughs> I want chicken wings, like, so bad. Caleb had them earlier, and I had I heard all about them. They sound real good. I know. The pictures he posts in Discord are killer. Mm -hmm. Bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know enough of the words to that one. I don't either. Like, if it was playing, I could probably sing along, but... 
Yeah, exactly. That's the hard part, is if you just, like... See, you know, that's my problem. Song. Like, my brain is, like, 95% song lyrics, but a lot of times, unless a song's playing, I don't remember. But a song comes on, fuck yeah, like, I'll to die know every word. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to, uh, kind of, like, slap Weirdo around a little bit. Weirdo telling me oh. no more anti. Like, that's not cool, dude. Real what? question is, is Weirdo into that? Because he might kind of like that a little bit. Just saying. <laughs> You and me, baby, ain't nothing but man. Oh, see, now I now I can think of all the songs or all the lyrics to that. Did you on the Discovery Channel? I don't like Gloom having actual answers to our problems. He's like, why don't you just bring up the lyrics? Like, of course we have the internet. I mean, we could. We could, but we're not going to. That requires typing, and I'm not sure I'm capable of doing that properly right no. now. My arms and my hands are busy doing other things right now, Gloom. <laughs> I get you, Weirdo. Okay, Weirdo wasn't trying to stop me from watching hentai in my own private time. Thanks. Thanks, Boo. I appreciate that. <laughs> I love the thumbs up. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's terrifying! Oh, it's like the best wombo combo ever! Holy shit! Wait, hold on. It looks like he took both our awful Elsas and put it into your 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 podcast face. Yeah. <gasps> An amalgamation oh. of horror. This is horrible. <laughs> A it's, the, it's the ugliest, most beautiful thing I've ever seen. He's created a monster! But I love it. It's so good. He's like that father in um the Alchemist show. Uh what is it? God damn it. Oh, I know it's Sean Bob. Damn it. Oh wait, are we about to have Oh shit, hold on. Are we about to have two chaos fights? Oh hold on. Hold on. Oh no, he's on T it, damn it. I got all excited for nothing. I like Solario Rex acknowledging that it's most beautiful and terrifying, and I want to let you know that is me in real life. I am beautiful and terrifying. I was 100% behind whatever this was going to be when I heard how happy it made Fizzle. <laughs> I get why he was so happy, and this is fucking amazing. And oh no, Chaos with Nuke. He ducked down egg three. How dare you, you yeah. bastard! Oh, damn. But it's fine. We got Cure Force on the other people. Like, we ship. Oh, okay, well. Oh. He's okay. fine. Take it off. Alright, Caleb. Yep, you're, you're gonna want Cure for that fighter. There we go. Alright, I mean, if nothing else comes out, he might be- Oh, he is not hitting for much. This- this feels real bad. Caleb, you probably shouldn't have sold that x cow Or not that x cow that Vorpal, I'm just saying. Oh, now we're hitting for something. Oh, now we're getting Asher on a chaos. Oh, this is gonna be close. Cause Asher's got that that Vorpal that's gonna probably be a little better here. Gee oh. dang. Oh no. I just can't stop staring at my teeth. <laughs> Oh, oh, Caleb got through turning <laughs> chaos right before Asher tit starts chaos. Oh no. Oh, 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 we're about to get another chaos fight. Finishing it out. Cause that Asher, he's a good sport. GG, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh my god, it's it's like our Elsa's had a baby. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello. <laughs> GG, bro. Hey, Caleb, you defeated our Elsa baby. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> uh, Fizzle's Lord Fizzle Beef. That never fucking... ceases to amaze. Oh my god. We're yeah, already getting to be visionary. Oh god. Okay, he's an artistic visionary, and I will fight anybody who says otherwise. <laughs> oh, 
Sir Caleb, how's it going? Um, it's fine. Nice. <laughs> I was, a, I was a pretty a, much a wreck at the end of that. But, uh-huh. uh, we got there. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you had a slow start with all of your um, white mages dying right after the other. That was that was uh, disheartening to see. Yeah, it's. I forgot they're only going to have one HP. Oh, well, that explains it. It's just fucking hauling ass out of Canary with those white mages with one HP and not at least like knocking over some imps on your way. It was just like, oh boy, that that's a that's a strategy. Well, I needed magic. I needed something, a, a way to kill something. So I was hoping that something like a harm or fade would be at level two. And it was just a matter of getting there. And I got the Vorpal. And uh, I knew that selling it could come back to bite me in the butt, but I needed money. So. Sure. Just defeated our alpha baby. GG Asher. GG Asher. Excellent. Good job defeating the horrifying Elsa face. Face of Trump girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lie. Nope. Or as we say here in FFR land, you're not wrong. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. GG, sir. You make it to the round of 32. Yay! And I get the rematch with Solario! Aw, shit! Where you at, Solario? Calling you out? <laughs> He's He was in chat earlier. Nice. You know, his last race of pods, he rolled into the race room wearing ice packs and wrapped up in blankets to get through his race. I am a big fan. Like, I'm... I've been pulling for him since, because, like, dude's got heart, so... He's a, he's a really good guy. I'm yeah, excited to race him again. We'll do something fun. Figure it out. Asher, I see you. Ah, oh, there he is. I was about to say, I see you in the booth. Get your ass in here. <laughs> oh, he left! Oh, no! Hey, in here. <laughs> GG, buddy. Thank you. I hope you can hear me okay. Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Oh, God. I feel yeah. the same way. How's it Jeez, going, buddy? Asher. Yeah, Thank good you. Talk. To... Oh, God. I forgot how to turn this off speaker, and I hate it. Oh, no. Should we be quiet right. so we don't wake anybody up in the house? <laughs> yeah, nobody That's... talk. Asher's doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, it's all good. I have, uh, I have a lot to say about that race, but I can't think of a better opponent and more fun time to have than with Caleb so we blame oh. Caleb for picking two white mages and it made for oh. a lot of fun look I had I, a strategy I, with that uh huh <laughs> I got his I, message first and I opened it and I went oh fuck and I was like I, I need to know what the persons are on these to see if this makes sense and then I went aw oh, damn it and then I opened Asher's message and I went aw oh, double damn it it was workable. I was just really worried that I soft blocked myself at Crescent Lake at the beginning because I ran out of save items and there's only a house. Oh. Yeah, there was a big old run somewhere in the table. I just kept soft yeah, resetting. That, yeah, that's. Uh, it was like after encounter seven or eight. Yeah. That was the only was, thing that sa- bailed me out there. Yeah, it was crazy long. I think I got from Ice Cave to Elfland without an encounter after I bounced out of Ice Cave the third time. Um, I just, yeah, I was worried that Scuffing Ice was going to betray me, but it didn't. And then, uh, so you... my thing was, like, there's, there's, a, there's a movement within the community to fill your inventory with stuff so you can avoid monster boxes. And I don't want to fill my inventory with trash, so I figured fighter armor is a good thing to fill your inventory with. Um, so, figured, yeah. And it helps. Just, Say it helps when yeah. your white mages can wear it. Yeah, so like that's why I picked the two white mages. It's all part of the plan. Conniving son of a bitch. <laughs> Honestly, like, it felt a little bad watching you get bounced out of ice, but getting bounced out of ice honestly helped you because 
it yeah. sent you in the direction of Marsh, which got you the floater earlier than Asher. Asher got through ice and got his ship. Oh. Which sent him, yeah. So he did a few things before doing Marsh, which got him in the air a little bit, at, like a bit after you. How did you get your run off the ground? With the, I did uh, a pop with... grind with Fade. Oh, okay. How did you? Okay. How did you get level two? <laughs> level two? I fought some imps. Yeah. Oh. I pretty much RNG'd, lost one of my people. I was like, I guess I'm going three party members. Okay. Yeah, we weren't that sure if we were going to do that long term. We're like, what strategy is he going for? Yeah, I was a little curious because honestly, like, I would have done what Asher did. I would have, I would have fought some imps to at least get like a level on those white mages so they had more than one HP. And then I watched Caleb just fucking run out of Canary and just like, nah, fuck it. I was like, what is he doing? And then like you saying, I forgot they had one HP made a lot of sense because otherwise I was like, well, why? Yeah. And then I was just like, well, in for a penny and for a pound, here we go. Let's figure it out. Yeah, I'll say that I felt really behind once I saw that Marsh was the floater and I didn't need to do ice at all. So, mm -hmm. but it was one of those things that's like, this is going to be slow enough because I know I'm going to have to find the power gauntlet somewhere that I'm just going to have yeah. to just eat the time loss and do what I need to do. And it looks like I almost caught up until uh, Warmack decided to kill me before Wall got off. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't see Warmack. I had uh, that, I had that, that run on the Bridge of Destiny, so I didn't see a single fight up there. But, yeah, and I thought yeah. to myself, it's like, if I get Warmack, I'm going to take Warmack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Warmack yeah, I, I, I probably would have too. I probably would have too if I had caught him because, like, I didn't really need a ton of levels at that point because I did a basically a two man through most of Sky, full clearing it as um, the monster in a box with the images took out two of my white mages. And I was like, all right, this is fine. I'll just get levels on these two. This is serendipity. And you know it worked. I think it's. I'm really excited to watch this one back because it seems like we had a lot of similar problems at first and ended up pretty close, which is about what I expected. Yeah, yeah. It was the when you watch the VOD back for like the last ten minutes, I'm constantly looking to my left and just staring at the race room, waiting for mm -hmm. you to finish. Oh man. Uh, we yeah, may have know. been in the booth before, like everybody in chat was able to watch the stream. Because I knew in the race room what time I told you guys what the party was, and I knew how excited you were, so we may have been watching before the stream went live for your reaction to that party. We were nice. not disappointed because you were a very happy Caleb. Fighter triple white mage. I mean, how often do you get to see it? It's the new meta. Yeah, right? Speed and power. Let's go. I need level two fate. I mean, you can make it work. I'm I mean, pretty sure that's die, not how Except uh, that you die. I have to say, I'm pretty sure that's not how speed and power works, but... It is today, Danny. <laughs> Apparently... I mean, if y'all had level 2 fade, like, if that hadn't yeah. been level 2, this would have been a much different scene. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that Zeus gauntlet in Marsh would have been the real MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there hadn't been level 2 fade, I would have kind of just gone solo fighter strats and tried to Ooh. push through. And it might have worked if I had gotten the airship from Marsh, but I was making a level two fade save the day. I was making a point to like if you know the next best thing, like as an A, you're gonna get on your white mage is like Harm Four. But then at least in certain places you can kill undead with it. And then like I look at level two and it's like, oh fuck, it's on the same level as fade, so that's not helpful at all. But yeah, fade at level two. That, that made this a much easier seat than it, it would have been otherwise. We'd mm -hmm. probably still be calling a race right now if there wasn't level two fate. Yeah, yeah, probably. Or I don't know. Maybe this the solo the solo knight could have got it done. I mean, yeah, with cure four, that tofer wasn't awful. If you could yeah. get wall off, or if you had you had a, you would have a ribbon at that point. I so I got the one ribbon out of volcano very late in the armory did, did, did you get that one or did you find another that's one the, that's the only one i got pretty much once i got uh, that ribbon the only chests i checked were um what in, what's the incentive 
Yeah. Yeah. Asher Asher did the the volcano check early, so we knew uh, there was Raven there, and it was the only one we saw the entire seed. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah, he got it pretty early, and then you running through there at the end, grabbing it. Yeah, I was hoping to find that or a sword mm -hmm. with a plus on it. Warple so. wasn't good enough. I no, sold he... it to get my early game going. Uh -huh. Wow. He made I, it to uh, Alpha and, and sold it. Yeah, I had, to, I had to think real hard on it because I was like, I need something. I need a weapon on the fighter now. And the Saber Plus 3s were for sale. And I was like, I need money. This is, I need to do this. Oh, I'll, and, I'll uh, tell you where I was at. And I don't know if uh, this showed up on stream very well. I thought those were Silver Swords Plus 3. So I don't, uh, I don't read icons very well. Uh oh. I was like, then I saw it in action. It's like, I'm swinging a tiny knife. Well, this will do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Not everyone has a large sword ash, or some people have tiny knives, but they work with what they have. Exactly. It's, it's, all, all, about, it's all about Exactly. It's, just, it's all about how you use it. So, oh, so giant, giant plus two was my carry after Kraken. Look at you bragging. It was made it work. Power bonk. It, it won the race. You can brag. <laughs> I need to get like Bert and make my icon a giant sword. <laughs> oh yeah. This damn what, what sword. color? What color is a giant sword? Is it Does blue? it have a? Oh, okay. It's blue point. Blue's a good color. Yeah. Oh man. And then uh, I guess the scientist went to bed early because I. I had my my music headphones on and I just there was like a dip between songs and I just heard the dog whining at the door. So I don't know if they all caught that on the cam, me slowly rolling backwards away while I was in ordeals and getting uh -huh. lost in the pillow no. as I was like rolling backwards to let the dog in. Oh no. If you watch this back when I get the ordeals, it's fun. <laughs> I got an no, hour it's not, it's the, not the place you want to be distracted with no the <laughs> no <laughs> Resner your timing was not good no it was but this was fun Asher thanks for uh, agreeing to do the, the interesting draft I kind of liked it um, I don't know if Solario is going to want to do it we'll see I mean it was fun for us yeah yeah, so it, it definitely it definitely it. shakes things up, and I'll, I'll say what I said in the chat before. My plan was to pick the best class and then the worst non-black belt class, but there was yeah, nobody yeah. that really stood out as the worst. Yeah, and there was yeah. none that really stood out as the best either. It was all just kind of uh, average. Yeah. Yeah. And like when we yeah. looked, like I was looking at it, and just there, nothing in the the blessings or curses, like. Nothing was like really bad or like nothing stuck out as really well. They were just kind of meh. Yeah. If the white mages hadn't had fighter armor, I was going to give you two fighters. So then we would have been triple fighter white mage and I would have been fun too. Well, instead we got a memorable race. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't mind too. being out of the tournament here. Now I can just sit back, watch, relax, watch Caleb sweat. But if there's if there's a way to go, it's a race like this. It was close. It sounds like there was a lot of twists and turns, and uh, I'm glad I was able to be part of it. Thank you, Asher. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun racing you. I appreciate you uh, coming on the podcast, doing the thing, and um, looking forward to seeing you around more. Bye. You know, the... you know what I appreciate? You two practically interviewing each other, so I don't have to think of questions. Yeah, that's what we do, Danny. We, yeah. we take bad. care of the we take care of the trunk comps. They took care of us. Aww, <laughs> y'all are nice. Appreciate it. All right. Well, with that, I guess I will ask you if you have final thoughts on the seed, the race, Asher, your your time and the tourney. Final thoughts on anything you guys feel like sharing. Well, I am a fan of Monster in a Box after practicing it more, so I will join the team of. Have random crap come at you and say hello. Ha ha, um, take I do that wanna, I, I do want to thank uh, the Final Fantasy After Dark crew, and thank y'all for letting me on the podcast. I uh, want to thank uh, 
large fuzzy biscuit for hosting this <laughs> and um <laughs> it's it's been a, it's been a lot of fun and just happy mother's day to anybody out there i'm about to do some discreet gift wrapping hopefully here in myself so uh you all have a good night rest of the weekend and caleb uh, enjoy being duck food thanks man <laughs> yeah I, I like those names asher they're pretty good that's good um mm -hmm. Final thoughts. Thanks, Rafe. And uh, you, you get to keep coming back. I'm on vodka. You're going to have to buy some more vodka because we're going to do at least one more time. Solario might come back and crack me in the mouth. Shit, so we'll that's what we should have done. We should have added vodka to your Instacart with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, um, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to echo what Asher said. He's gone. Um... Thanks Aww. to Danny and Hi, Rafe and Danny and Channy and Rafe and Lupita's favorite burrito and the legally frivolous beefs that we're developing. Um, <laughs> this was a ton of fun. Asher's a one of the the true gems in the community. This guy's uh, when we were on the admin team together, he was always one of the the adults in the room. I always appreciated Asher. It was really awesome getting to know him better. So, yay! Thank you, everybody. This was fun. Brave. Is cool. Brave. Huh? My love. My partner in crime. My fellow love. <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts you'd like to share? No. I mean, I learned a bit more, so that was good. Um, Caleb's race was really nice to watch. Um, yeah. I wish he would have failed a little bit harder, but he didn't. I tried. I, Next I, feel, time. I feel like you could have made a I tried, Rafe. <laughs> You could have walked so, a little slower, Caleb. No, and then I would have lost. <laughs> <laughs> but no, as always, it's a great time uh, with Danny and Channy did a great job. I love being on Fizzle Channel and I love all of the chat. I, you know, like that really like keeps me going and, and keeps me engaged. So I really appreciate everyone in chat. So that's that's it for me, though. I can't wait for next time. I, say, I blinked for a second and dogs oh, find Solario again. Yeah. It's yeah. Be fun. That was that was a fun last time they did it, and I look for I look forward to the next time. Um Yeah, so we got final thoughts for everybody, so I guess that means I'll close this out. Um the GG to Asher, uh congrats on making this this far in the tournament. GG to Caleb, congrats on making it to the round of 32 uh you, you, you're doing good buddy keep up the good work um nice. thank you to to Chani, our tracker this evening who does all the good work and clicks all the buttons it's a fizzle one of my favorite people on the whole planet and the best restreamer ever even though his internet sucks because fuck Comcast. but he sticks with it it's one of the many 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 many, many reasons he's amazing and to rafe who just puts the biggest smile on my face. Thank you for doing comms with me again this week. And to everybody who hangs out with us all the time in chat while we're just being goofy and commentating these races every week. Y'all are great and fantastic and we love you and thank you for hanging out with us. Um, there's a bunch of races tomorrow. I'm, I'm not looking at a schedule. So just check the Discord. Somebody will post it somewhere. And Danny, you're racing at 5 p.m. Shut up, Caleb. They already know. Don't remind them. <laughs> Can we? 5 p.m. Eastern, I might actually be able to do. I'm really excited. I can't wait to watch you in action. Damn I'll be rooting for you. So, oh, Larry, are you out there that. movie nights tomorrow at 8? Come hang out. For watch yeah, yeah. Come, come watch the movie tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, in our yes. Discord. We'll all Carbon be there. Copy. Yeah. Washington. 